Yes! Just what I wanted. Socks! <laughs> oh, you really like him. I was hoping you would. All right. What's next? What's next? Did you bring this one? I didn't get that one. I thought you brought it for me. No, I didn't. I didn't get it. That's weird. Who brought it then? Wait! Look, I don't have much time to explain, but if you open that box, all the movie theaters are going to close in 2020. Tenet will flop, and somehow Bad Boys for Life will be the highest grossing film all year. Here, you're going to need some of this. I have to go, but don't just shrug your shoulders and look away. Do it for the No Master! What's up all you movie junkies out there? You're back with the one and only R&R. &R. This go around, we got all up in that holiday spirit. We wanted to bring you some of the Christmas classics, considering that every new release has been pulled off the shelf for the foreseeable future. So we went back to 1994 to bring you the Nora Ephron Christmas film Mix Nuts, another all-star ensemble film bursting with cameos. Is 1994 really? that far back? God, I'm getting old. The film revolves around a crisis hotline run from an apartment complex and one crazy night during the Christmas holidays. We gave Mix Nuts a par. Time to go home there, boss. Or three out of five weird Adam Sandler noises. <laughs> There's a lot going on all at once in this story. It's just one thing after another, all at the same moment. It's a discombobulated mess that's intended to stress the viewer out. You have no idea what direction the plot is going, nor could you predict it if you tried. It's like a bag of mixed nuts. Pun intended. Moving on. There isn't much development to our characters, more just small roles that all tie the film together. Steve Martin steals most of the screen time, but we see roles from Madeline Kahn, Juliette Lewis, Rob Reiner, Adam Sandler, Jon Stewart, and how about that Lee Schreiber giving possibly the most unexpected performance ever. Not to mention this iconic soundtrack. As 90s babies, we spent a significant amount of time jamming this mix before we even knew it was a film. The film brought the sounds to life and took us on a nostalgia trip back to our living room hanging homemade ornaments on the tree and for some reason, I think I hear Mariah Carey? Overall, this isn't on the top of the Christmas movie list, but it certainly deserves its recognition. It's a little less family oriented and a little more just chaos. If you've overlooked this one, take a step back and give it a watch this holiday season. Even if you don't watch it, at least check out the classic Christmas soundtrack. Even if it's just for Grape Jelly. Oh, I love Grape Jelly! Well guys, that's all we have for this week. We want to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from your crew here at r, &R Reviews. We would like to give a special shout out and thanks to all of our five fans out there. Thanks for standing us, guys. Don't forget us on your Christmas list this year, and we'll see you in what will hopefully be a much better year for 2021. Stay safe, and remember, it's always a beautiful day in the cinema hood.